Morning guys, I'm back out at Point Jefferson today. I'm gonna to be uh, mooching and trolling for salmon again. Uh, and actually, since it is halibut season, I brought a, a fairly stout halibut, halibut rod with me. Uh, and I know I know people don't really fish for halibut in Marine Area 10, um, but I'm gonna give it a try. Uh, apparently this is a, a task for a special type of fool, and I feel like I am that type of fool. Uh, so let's see what I bring out today. Uh, like I said, just starting with salmon. Uh, hoping to catch a fairly good sized coho, uh, either uh, mooching or trolling. And then once I do that, I'm gonna head over to a, a spot that I think might actually house one or two halibut. We'll have to see. Um, that's the plan for today. Beautiful day. Uh, I always love uh, love being at uh, Point Jefferson. A big part of what I'm doing is actually looking for herring. There can be massive, massive aggregations of herring here. Like the size of a football field, like no joke. <laughs> Balls of herring. Yeah. And if I see that, I'm actually stuck with you. All right, this is exactly what I'm looking for. That did not take long at all. So we have bait all the way between 173 and 100 feet deep. Uh, so 73 foot deep ball of, of bait is going on right now. So because of that, I'm gonna switch over to mooching. And see what I can bring up. Cut the head off in a dangle. Throw the head overboard. Doesn't hurt to chum a little. Barbless, barbless. Yep. Always keeping an eye out for boats. One through the belly. One through the back. Through. Bait ball is dissipating. Yeah, okay, so the current's gonna take it that way. It's important to get started the right, the right way. Um, first 30 feet, hand line. Stop and the line indicates a bite. And I'm only going to drop down to 100 feet. And the reason for that is that I don't want to get bitten off by a dogfish. Um, and Chinook are actually out of season. Uh, there's an emergency salmon regulation that's preventing um, Chinook fish from fishing right now. So I'm focusing on coho. I'm also not the biggest fan of retaining Chinook. I've, I actually prefer the taste of coho, believe it or not. Um, I feel like they hold seasoning better and all that. And they're more sustainable. Um, I just feel like uh, harvesting a lot of chinook isn't the best call. On the way up, I'm gonna double check the spinning. seeing more boats out there so I might actually check that out. Um, generally where there are boats there are herring aggregations. No shame in popping off of uh, other fishermen. That's probably deeper water also.
way down, I'm looking for a stop. On the way up, I'm looking for weight. And this is really what I've been looking for. Um, so we got bait, thick bait from uh, basically the bottom to 120 feet. And then actually salmon above. That one streak kind of going down to the right is my, uh, my weight. So you're seeing my weight going down. This herring's looking a little iffy too, so that might be part of, part of why I'm not really uh, killing it. I brought it out one other time, so it's been previously thawed. I don't think it got warm or anything, it just thawed. Yeah, I'm starting to mark more bait, starting to mark more fish. Uh, and essentially it's low tide. Um, that's when this area is supposed to pick up. And it seems to be picking up, so we're on schedule. Marking bait at 20 feet, marking fish at about 100. At 100 it's iffy, it could be just about anything. I've even caught pinks at 100 feet. size fish I'm gonna say six seven pounds probably um, maybe 24 to 26 inches pretty happy about that yeah okay, that'll do it for today uh, managed to catch my limit on coho salmon um, I did troll a little bit more for pinks uh, and actually couldn't couldn't resist dropping down trying to catch a halibut so in most of my time halibut fishing didn't catch anything that was worth seeing you know uh, four or five dogfish that were all like this big you know um, but man, it's still fun just, just getting to, to jet head and being able to, to fish in that water. So what worked today was finding bait balls. Uh, I actually was, was on the process of dropping down, so I was spinning herring, herring on the way down. Felt a stop, reeled up, dropped that coho. Um, so yeah, until next time, thanks for watching.